there, this is Gali Gofarb and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos five times a week. I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, happier and healthier place for you and I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So how are you feeling today? I hope you're positive, you're feeling positive today because our quote of the day is, at times I seek dissociation to associate with myself by Buma Balan. In yesterday's video, I spoke about how associating with something is the best way to get you closer to the life of your dreams through visualization. But what happens when you have gone through some form of traumatic incident and it follows you through life, preventing you from reaching your goals? Well, the reason our traumas can prevent us from reaching our goals is because we associate ourselves with these traumas. We see ourselves as attached as taking part in these negative events. When we want to create a vision of our perfect life that will lead us to becoming the best version of ourselves, we must associate ourselves with a positive future vision. I spoke about this in detail in yesterday's vision. We must see ourselves and feel ourselves experiencing that perfect life, ideal life that we wish to have in the present. Now, since association with something or an event is so powerful, just as it can take us down a positive path, it can also take us down a negative path. Associating with something also has the opportunity, the option of hindering our lives and preventing us from reaching our goals if we associate ourselves with these negative events. This is what happens in the case of post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD. We see ourselves as part of that traumatic event, not only in the past, but also in the present. And this association makes us feel the, that the negative event is happening in all of our cells of our body. It is as if the event keeps happening to us over and over again. We keep reliving the event. Now, the traumatic event need not be such a traumatic event to affect our life. If, for example, we keep finding ourselves in the same kind of relationship, then this is the same mechanism working against us. Associating ourselves with a negative situation will hinder our growth and suppress our life in many different areas. So how can we heal from such situations and move our life in the direction that we want it to go? Well, just as visualizing the ideal life situation through associating ourselves with it moves our life, to the place we want to be, withdrawing ourselves from the negative situations in the past, in the present, or in the future will help us remove these negative thought patterns from our lives and allow us to form the life of our dreams much more effectively. So how can we withdraw ourselves from such negative situations? Well, instead of seeing ourselves as taking part of an event, and being in the event with our mind, we can distance ourselves from the event using our mind. We can see ourselves as observers of the situation instead of partakers in the situation. When we are observers, we do not feel the situation in all of our senses, and we do not feel the feelings that are associated with the situation. We are disconnected from the situation. It is as if we are observing two people fighting near us. We are not involved in the feelings or in the pain created by the situation. We are bystanders watching the situation without any involvement. Now we can transform association with any incidents to withdrawal from that incidence. To do this, we must imagine ourselves as being observers of the situation and slowly moving physically away from that situation. We can make this transformation inside our mind, and this is very, very powerful. I want you to try this out now. Think of something that happened to you in the past that still has a grip on your life today, an event that keeps coming up in your mind, or an event that keeps showing up in your life, a traumatic event that keeps you on the path that you don't want to be on, or some kind of behavior that keeps showing up that you feel that you have no control over. Now sit quietly in a very quiet place and focus on your breathing. Close your eyes and relax your body one 
uh, organ and one tissue at a time. Relax your muscles all over your body and then relax the muscles in your face. Now, imagine yourself in the traumatic situation that you chose. Look at yourself, at what you are wearing, watch yourself move, see how you look, look at yourself as if you are not you. Hear the sounds in the situation, but hear them as if they are off in the distance and not as the person who is in the situation would hear them. You see what you are doing, but you can't feel the sensations or the feelings that you are feeling. It is you, but you are not experiencing that version of you. You can't feel the heat or the cold. You can't smell the smells. You can't feel the clothes on your body, and you can't hear the sounds clearly. You notice the actions that you are doing, but you notice them from a distance, as an observer. Now look around at the situation from a distance. Look at yourself, and now also look at the other people that are in the situation. See them from a different angle, as you would if you were you. Take a different angle further away from yourself, from a distance. Slowly move further and further away from the other people in your vision. Then look back at where you were standing in that situation and notice that that version of you has left and is no longer there. Now you distance yourself even more from the situation and see that version of you slowly walking off into the distance. There are no feelings associated with that version of you. You are observing that version of you until that version of you disappears into the horizon. Now come slowly back from your hypnotic state to your present, and you will perhaps not be aware of any change that has happened within you, but there is definitely a change that has happened within you. If you continue to practice this meditation for a few times, you will see that the grip that the negative situation had on your life will be completely gone. I will tell you of such a situation that happened to me about a month ago. I was on my usual early morning run. I sometimes see dogs on the way, but I have never had any issues with dogs. I had a dog myself for many, many years. But that morning, a small dog that was not on a leash came running towards me. I slowed down and thought that he would just come and smell me and, and then continue on his way. But instead, this dog attacked me. He bit my leg three times. I became hysterical. I was bleeding from my muscle. And I slowly walked back home and went to the hospital to get vaccinated and bandaged. I could not walk for a few days afterwards since he had bitten right into my muscle. I was so traumatized by that situation that the next time I began running again, another huge dog came towards me. And instead of just walking away or ignoring that dog, I started to scream. <laughs> I was hysterical. I just couldn't control myself. I was still wounded. I was barely walking and I was in pain and the dog scared me so much with no reason. Later, I used this withdrawal method, as I call it, to withdraw myself from the original negative situation. And now I go running again and I'm not afraid of dogs any longer. <laughs> now, that was just an example from my life. Now, go ahead and try this very powerful withdrawal, me withdrawal method for something that happened to you and has an effect on your life and see how you can remove negativity from previous situations and clear the effect that they have on you very quickly. So as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a question that you wanna ask yourself so that the answer will help you move your life to a better place for you. And the question of the day that you wanna ask yourself is, in what area of my life do I have a traumatic event that still haunts me and affects my life till this day? Now, once you have the answer, go ahead and do the withdrawal technique that I just mentioned with, with uh, the situation and see how it feels. As I, as I usually recommend, write down this question and your answer in, in a notebook that you have especially prepared for these coaching sessions so that you can look over it and see how you are improving your life in many, many different aspects. Now, to finish off, the affirmation of the day is I slowly withdraw myself from negative events and associate myself more and more with the best version of myself. I slowly withdraw myself from negative events and associate myself 
more and more with the best version of myself. Now tell this affirmation to yourself as many times as you remember to do so today because an affirmation has the power to completely transform your life with repetition. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications button so that you'll get no notifications every time I upload a new video, which is almost every day. Also visit my website at thegorilladiet.com for anything to help you move your health and wellness to a better place for you. Thank you very much for joining me.